Happy Halloween everyone! Welcome to this week's video. I think what I'm going to be doing for today's video is very surprising. I will be carving this pumpkin uh, because it's Halloween. Simple as. Uh, except for the fact that I don't think I'm going to make it simple. Today I'm going to be carving the amazing and awesome deep sea fish, uh, the anglerfish. It's the one with the... No. The anglerfish is really cool, it uses light to attract fish that it then eats, famously kind of in Finding Nemo, is the scene of the anglerfish, and because of its use of light I thought it would be great for a pumpkin. I have one pumpkin, one attempt, and I only have one evening to film this, so we're going to see what it comes out like. Mm. So to do this you will need one pumpkin. I recommend getting a large pumpkin, something with really thick walls because to do this you're going to have to carve into them. So get a bigger pumpkin rather than a smaller one. You're going to need a pumpkin carving kit to scrape out things and carve stuff and also a knife to make more precise cuts. Then draw a circle around the top of the pumpkin and use your pumpkin cutter to cut through and make a lid. When that's done take the lid off and start scraping out the middle of the pumpkin. Once that's done you want to mark out with a marker, a pencil, anything really that will make a line, the outline of the anglerfish, so this just the silhouette of it and roughly where you think the features are going to go. Now I tried to do this next bit without a knife but it just really isn't feasible so you're going to need a knife to make exact cuts. Try and cut away from your body and just use the pressure of the knife to lightly cut the skin and make some really nice crisp sharp lines for the teeth. You can then peel off the skin to reveal the lighter areas underneath and you want to do this uh, for the entire surface of the anglerfish. So all of your anglerfish is going to be peeled off pumpkin skin. The best way to make sure that it's all peeled is to go over the outline of the anglerfish with a knife first so that when you come to cutting large sections away the knife will actually kind of stop where you've already cut the edge to. And when it comes to the tail just cut away just like the teeth in nice thin sections to act like the fins. Then just try and clean up everything and go over it again with a knife to make the edge is nice and clean as possible and you could be on to the next section. So for the next bit you want to work almost in negative so anything that you want to be light has to be cut away more. So you can kind of mark out where you want everything to be and then dig to the bits that are lightest. So the lightest on the anglerfish will be the teeth and it will also be the eyes and the fins. So here I'm just digging into the teeth. Now I'm marking out where the eye is gonna be, leaving the pupil a lot thicker and trying to, to dig in where um, the back of the eye would be. And then you also want to kind of make the mid tone a, a bit shallower too. So th the light won't shine through an entire pumpkin very well. So you have to kind of cut everything back to a mid layer. You want the stuff that's really dark to kind of be at the front and you want the stuff light to be almost the whole way through the pumpkin, but not quite. It's difficult to kind of judge, but just keep going and playing at it. And then when you think you want to test it, you can turn the lights off, put a candle in it, or in this case, I downloaded a, a, like a flicker light app on my phone and put my phone in the in the pumpkin. Once you've given it a test, carve again and give it another go. Keep doing this really until you are completely happy with it. One of the last things I did was carve out the hole for the, the light because that's going to be the bit that's the brightest. And then you kind of, when you cut away, you angle it in as well so that you're cutting away a lot of the pumpkin on the inside so that as much light as possible can come out. Ironically, I then turned the lights off so that I could see what I was doing. And then here we have what the final pumpkin looks like, all mushy on the outside. Doesn't really look too impressive, but turn the lights off and you have one pretty awesome looking pumpkin, even if I say so myself. But I'm only saying that because I think an anglerfish is super cool. I was so chuffed with how this came out. I 
I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was and I think it looks like an anglerfish so I think it is a valid tutorial on how to make a pumpkin anglerfish. If you all are having a wonderful Halloween and you enjoyed this tutorial give it a go, tweet me the result of your own attempts and have a good evening guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!